Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there. Today, we've got to do it. I mean, the drop literally happens within the next 24 hours. And it's online only. So I hope none of you are actually outside the store standing there waiting for it to drop. But we are going to be talking about the fourth week in Supreme's Spring Summer 2020 collection. So releasing March 19th or 21st if you're from Japan, we are getting our fourth week of Supreme's Spring Summer 2020 collection. Because as we know, Supreme releases its two year collections, its collections that it releases twice a year, um, in weekly drops. Uh, it, it, the, how many weeks in a collection all depends on how big the collection is because not every collection is the same size so I can't really give you an estimated like amount of weeks that this is going to go for but I'm going to cover every single week I've covered every single week so far so we've done obviously week 0 slash 1, 2, 3 and now we're up to number 4 uh, so far I would say the first week was probably my favourite first or third uh, the third we got the Supreme North Face collaboration this season, which not a lot of people were feeling. If you look at the secondary market right now, people trying to flip it for a profit, it's looking like it's a bit of a struggle. It's, it doesn't look like it's selling too well. Anyway, that's that's a totally different conversation. But yeah, no, um, hopefully this week will be a little bit better for both resellers and consumers, people that actually want to buy the collection and enjoy it, which is me. <laughs> uh, we are going to have the Ram Mel Z collaboration in this collection we've had the anrax the gore-tex anrax in the first week but we are getting the rest of it except for the handbag oh uh, sorry handbag the bag the um d martini bag that they did with um with the estate we're not getting that this week i don't think we are just getting the tees the sweats and i think that's about it <laughs> just the tees and the sweats so get ready for that and hopefully we'll get some other cool uh you know sweaters jackets accessories we'll just have to see we'll just have to see so i have a supreme community page to cover all of the pieces that are releasing this week so i think that's the best place to go to cover the whole collection if you want me to keep covering these weekly drops or cover more supreme drops in general don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to the channel guys best indicators to let me know but without further ado let's head on over to the supreme community page and have a look what is dropping in week four of Supreme's Spring Summer 2020 collection? Here we are. Okay, so the first items that you can straight away see is that we are getting the Ramel Z Supreme T. We are getting the Ramel Z Supreme Tag T. We're getting all the Ramel Z, Ramel Z T's here, as well as what looks like the sweats and stuff. But we'll dive into each of the pieces, have a look at them, have a look at what's going on. Hopefully, there'll be some good stuff this week. Hopefully, hopefully. But you know some of the weeks they're very disappointing but let's dive into week four so to start off with we have the ram mel z supreme t uh this is the artist t with the graphic on the back to do with all the schematics to do with his sculptures that he did from memory and then it has him in his giant junk warriors um outfit here with it wearing a supreme t very cool comes in a variety of different colors it comes in black blue green pink and white i think the black and white are the best colors out of them i am a bit confused on why these colors are releasing but i can't see these going for too much um either way it's like 48 american dollars so it's pretty cheap for what it is i i like these i would pick it up in white i think white would be my favorite color out of them so i'm gonna give it a big old thumbs up uh, moving on to the small box logo long sleeve tees. They come in lime green, purple, black, and it looks like peach, red, white, and blue. Simple, clean little long sleeve with a very small Supreme Box logo on it. Retails for 58 American dollars, so that's probably at 75 Australian dollars. For a branded tee of this sorts, with the cotton that it, it, it delivers with, because Supreme Cotton is very, very comfortable. I would say this is a cop, man. It's just super clean, super easy to pick up, super basic piece. You can just pick up like a white one or a black one, or maybe you could just go with a little bit of a splash of color. Either way, they're super easy to wear pieces. Nothing too crazy about them. They release them all the time, but it's gonna be a thumbs up. They're, they're, they're a nice little piece. You can't, you can't be mad at those. Uh, moving on to the Ramel Z Supreme Tag T comes in the same colors as the artist tee that we had before. It comes in black, blue, green, pink, and white. Uh, the tag says Supreme on the front of it, done in his iconic tag 
fonts that he came up with. Well, I don't know if he came up with it, but, but he definitely popularized it. Um, this is really cool. I really like it in black or white. Um, the other colors are a bit of a miss for me. So I'll give it a thumbs up on the black or white, but I'm not too keen on the other colors. And for 48 American dollars, how could you go wrong, right? Like there's, you can't say anything bad about that. Uh, moving on, we have the mesh hooded long sleeve baseball jersey. Uh, comes in three colors, orange, black, or white. Um, it's kind of cool. Interesting that it's it's button-up, isn't it? It's a button-up jersey. Poly eyelet mesh with cotton fleece hood and sleeves. Tackle twirl applique logo and embroidered graphic. Okay, so it's got embroidered graphics. Applique uh, supreme font on the front there. It's kind of cool. I, I wouldn't mind picking up the black. The orange actually looks really cool as well. I gotta say, I like how the blue, black, and white Supreme logo pops out of the front of the chest there. I'm actually a fan of this one. This is actually kind of nice. And it's for the it's for a lo lower retail price than uh, normal Supreme hoodies, 118 USD. Remember, all these prices on Supreme Community are assumptions. They're guesstimates. They don't actually know until the drop actually happens. Uh, I would say that this is, yeah, this is a cop. The, I would say that the black one is really cool with the red font, but also the orange one. Just a bit of a unique piece for the orange one. That's kind of cool as well. I'm going to give that one a thumbs up, definitely. Uh, next, we have the Supreme Rawlings Catcher's Chest Protector. Comes in either red or camo. I think these items are really, really stupid. I, I, I don't know why you'd pick these up. Like, I don't know, as a piece that you chuck over the top of a hoodie or something. I don't know, I think it's just super weird and not that good. I don't know why people really feel them. Do people just wear them over the top of hoodies or something? Am I missing out on that craze or something? I'm not feeling it. And for 198 USD, I mean, there are better pieces in here that I would consider picking up. So I'm going to hit that with a no from me. Uh, next, we have the Wide Whale Corduroy Camp Cap. I think these are really cool. They come in four colors. Black, creamy white orange or purple i actually like all the colors i like the orange and purple even though they are a little bit more eccentric uh the black and white are really cool i think the black's going to be the best one and you can't go wrong with a bit of cord in your outfit so corduroy caps corduroy camp caps i'm a fan i'm, I'm gonna give that a thumbs up that's really cool don't know why it's half and half on the votes here but oh well uh next we have the rem lz hooded sweatshirt with his iconic 80s and ni uh, neon styled spray paint graphic uh the graphic does continue on the back and looks really cool on the back as well unfortunately we don't have two images on the supreme community page but i did cover it in the previous supreme video which will be in the description section below so if you want to have a look at the rem lz collection that supreme is doing this season just go check out that description section below and that video will be down there if you haven't seen it already. Uh, I'm a huge fan of this piece. It's really loud, but I think if you wear it with a toned down outfit and let this do the talking, I think it's going to come out as a really cool piece. It's, you know, street art in what I would style it in, in a very streetwear centered outfit. So I think this is really cool. I definitely would pick this up. 198 USD retail though. Um, we'll have to see what the resale prices go for because, you know, Australian don't have a Supreme store. I have no way of copying it unless I buy a bot. And either way, it's going to cost me a minimum of 198 USD. So I'll just have to see what the prices come out as. Uh, next, we have the studded long sleeve top. Comes in six colors. It comes in what looks like gray, black, orange, navy, red, and white. Uh, with a studded graphic on the front of it. I, the studded graphic was a little bit too excess for me, even in all the uh, colors. The best colors I like are the black and navy, but it is just a bit too excessive with that color, uh, even with the studded applique logo. So I'm just going to have to give that one a thumbs down from me, unfortunately. Uh, next, we have the Stars Crew Neck. Comes in multiple colors. It looks like gray, black, blue, and red, but it might come in a few more. Um, again, just the logo is a little bit too excessive for me. It's a little bit too much, a little bit too loud. I can see a lot of people really liking this, but it, it just doesn't hit it off with me as much. So I'm going to leave that one as a no. We'll leave that one as a no. Uh, moving on, we have the Supreme Team Puffy Jacket. Not a puffer jacket, but a puffy jacket. Uh, comes in four different colors, purple, black, green, and gold. Uh, I really like the black. 
I really like how the Supreme Team logo pops on the front and back. The back logo is probably my favorite there, featuring a bunch of iconic flags. Uh, the hood is removable from memory and definitely by the looks of it. Out of them all, I definitely think the black um, is really cool. I actually kind of like the gold. The, cold, the gold is kind of crazy and I can imagine the graphic being really crazy looking on the gold one as well. But I wouldn't pick up the gold one. I just think it's kind of a cool piece. The black one is definitely my preference and seeing it being styled in the lookbook, it looked really good in the Spring Summer 2020 lookbook. So that is going to be a thumbs up for me. I think this is a really cool piece. Uh, moving on, we have the Ram uh, Ram Mel Z um, sweatpants matching the hooded sweatshirt. These were kind of a cool piece, but I wasn't really feeling them. I didn't think that I would wear them if I did actually have the chance to pick them up. But I think it's going to be a downvote for me. I prefer this graphic on the actual hooded sweatshirt. Uh, moving on, we have some track pants done in this plaid kind of uh, style, I guess. The two of the colorways and then just in a black. Eh, what well, it's done in water resistant poly, but I'm not feeling this man. This isn't for me We'll, we'll, we'll miss out on that one uh, Next we have the loose fit jeans for 158 USD uh, All cotton 14 ounce denim with embroidered logo on the back pocket the supreme logo on the back pocket there I, I, I could get the same type of denim jeans from like an op shop or something And I think that's more my aesthetic anyway instead of consuming more jeans. So it's just going to be a downvote for me. I'm not really feeling these too much. Uh, next, we have the track half zip pullover. So the zip comes halfway down the garment. It doesn't fully unzip. Uh, it comes in three colors, black, this red looking plaid, and this weird gray dull looking plaid. Uh, made from water resistant poly uh, with an embroidered logo on the chest there. So you can see it's got a Supreme logo uh, down there on the chest. I think the best color is going to be just the black one just because it's nice and simple but for like 138 USD I'm not really too excited about this so I'm probably going to leave it as a downvote. I'm just not really feeling this one. Uh, next we have the Supreme Team 6 panel. This one's a little bit too cheesy for me. It looks like something that you would find in like a souvenir shop in like you know Times Square or something like that. And it just looks hella funky, man. My favorite color is actually the um, blue and the burgundy over here. I think that's actually really cool with the second being the black colorway. The white and blue really reminds me of like a souvenir thing from a gift shop. And this yellow one is just super weird. Uh, no, nah, I prefer the graphic on the actual jacket from the puffy jacket that we saw before. So it's gonna be a no from me on the team six panel. Uh, moving on, we have our final piece and the most expensive piece dropping this week actually. Just having a quick squeeze. Yeah, it looks like this is the most expensive piece dropping this uh, this week. It is the S Supreme Shot, shot uh, yeah, shot, uh, cowhide leather satin lining um, suede coat. It's a, it's a very eccentric coat. It's got tassels on it and everything. Um, I can see this appealing to some fans. I can see some fans of, you know, I don't know, Lil Nas X. <laughs> I'm definitely picking this up. It's just a little bit too eccentric for me. It's got a little bit too too much going on. And I don't think I would wear a jacket with uh, tassels anytime soon. So for the retail price of 638 USD, if that is the retail price that it does drop for, I think it's a little bit too much for me. I mean, I understand it is cowhide leather and everything like that. It's got like satin lining. It's got, you know, like all these amazing details and whatever. It's just too much money for something that I'm not really that interested in. So it's going to be a big old thumbs down for me in that one there. Um, a very small week, actually, even though that got an artist collaboration, we didn't actually get too many pieces in it. Uh, this will drop March 19th, as I said, March 21st for Japan. Online only, um, all these stores have closed, except for the Japan stores, I think they might still be open, but all of the US, London, all of those, they've all just closed. They're, they're all just closed, so it's an online release, so you'll be finding a lot of bots on this release. And Supreme Store is notoriously known for crashing and being horrible. So all I have to say is good luck to all you fellas out there. <laughs> I mean, me sitting over here in Australia not even being able to try. It, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I, I'm honestly kind of happy because then I don't have to go through the stress 
of trying to cop from Supreme. It's it's a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? But yeah, honestly, this week, looking at it just as 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 a week, there are only like two or three pieces that I'm really, really excited for. The rest of the week is kind of a miss. So it's kind of a disappointing week from my stance, but you may disagree. Definitely let me know in the comment section below if you're feeling more of the pieces from this week. Uh, some of the standout pieces that I'm super excited for is the uh, Team Puffy jacket. That's really cool in black. Uh, the Ram LZ hooded sweatshirt is a must cop for me. And maybe the mesh hooded long sleeve baseball jersey. That's kind of cool. But I'm also really feeling the Ram, uh, Ram LZ uh, Supreme T here. I think that one's really, really cool as well. But they're definitely my favorite pieces of this week. The rest of it. Uh, I, I could do without I'm not too oh well the the wide whale um corduroy ca camp cap is also really cool as well but yeah the rest of it is definitely not hitting off well for me but yeah let me know how you feel about it on twitter facebook instagram or as always the comment section below how do you feel about week four is everything here a cop for you what's a drop for you what are your top three favorite pieces what are the pieces that you're definitely going to try and go for what are you really feeling do you really like the rem lz collaboration that's dropping this week or are you just not feeling it is it just not for you totally understandable if it isn't but let me know regardless either way let me know all your thoughts and opinions on week four that's dropping on march 19th or march 21st for japan in the comment section below and that's it guys that's all i've really got to say about supreme's week four collection kind of disappointing there's not a lot in here that i would be looking to pick up there only be like a few pieces that's the case for most weeks but week one was really really good for me there was like a lot of stuff that i was looking to pick up and week three had some pretty cool pieces in it as well week four kind of disappointing man it's it's either the worst week so far or the second worst week in my opinion but Definitely let me know in the comment section below if you disagree or think another week is worse than uh, the, any other week so far. Uh, but that is it. That is everything dropping in week four. Definitely let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. What's your favorite piece? What are your top favorite three pieces? What are you dropping? What are you copping? Definitely let me know. Uh, and if you want me to cover more Supreme releases, as always, don't forget to like the video, comment that you want to see more Supreme, and subscribe to the channel, guys the best way to stay up to date and it's the best way to let me know that you want me to cover more supreme but that's it that's everything that has to be said it's going to be dropping online only for most of the world here so make sure you're paying attention and ready to cop when it does it online good luck to all you guys out there i i would not want to be copying online off supreme the bots are just going to be ridiculous i mean even with a lot of pieces that aren't super hyped it's going to be super hard to pick up some pieces but yeah let me know your copying experiences as well in that comment section below but that's it so until the next supreme video the next streetwear video and the next week guys when i cover week five i'll catch you later